Well, Nueces County Sheriff Jim Kalen says inmate overcrowding at the jail is nearing a crisis point. The problem is it's more than just a lack of beds. Now, the sheriff says the classification system that determines who gets those beds is also a contributing factor. Jane Caffrey is live this evening from outside of the jail. Jane, tell us more about the problem and also the sheriff's apparent plan to solve it. Well, Jennifer, earlier this month, the jail reached 97% capacity. Sheriff Kalen says jail overcrowding is a consistent problem, and it's one the county can't ignore. He says to lock down a solution, the county needs to financially commit to expanding the jail. When the city police department brings an inmate over here, they expect us to be able to receive and take that inmate. But it's not always simple. The Nueces County Jail is consistently overcrowded. I have 1,068 beds, but it gets very complicated when you get involved with jail standards. That's because beds are assigned based on how an inmate is classified. That classification determines where they are housed. This is for their protection. We run out of places to put people because one classification area may be full. Just like the jail population, Sheriff Jim Kalen says this problem has been building up over decades. This county hasn't really added any beds since 1991. In those more than 20 years, the community has grown. But he says the jail hasn't kept up. You have to add more beds to keep up with your growth. The sheriff could address overcrowding by refusing nonviolent misdemeanor or felony offenders. But that's an option he's not interested in. I think our community would be <clears throat> very concerned if we were letting nonviolent felons out at my discretion. Another option is to send inmates to neighboring county jails. That absolutely has to be the last resort because it's terribly expensive. Kalen says those counties would charge $50 a day per inmate. He believes that money would be better spent within our own county. We have to add more beds. Then we wouldn't be in bad shape now. It's just a matter of saying we must start. Well, nobody started. County commissioners have two budget workshops next week when they'll discuss the jail overcrowding issue. Jen. All right, thank you, Jane. And the sheriff says it took him seven years to convince county commissioners to approve an expansion project at the McKenzie Jail Annex. It finally got underway last year and will add 144 beds, but the sheriff is saying it's now over budget because of some unexpected problems with the building's fire suppression system. So that expansion project won't be done for another year.